Hello, hello everybody. I'm here at, at work. I just got a quick minute, or not a quick minute, but quick five minutes, that I was talking to one of my employees, um, and I had to share her story because um, this women's awareness that I can tell everybody about, I really I want everybody to understand and want you to hear her testimony because um, this is the things that a woman has gone through that she didn't have to go through. And it really, God, this really hits, it hits home for me because um, her story is really, really, um, it's heartfelt. And I feel bad because she went through this and there was no other way that, you know, she could go around it because she did not know the information that she, that we know today. So um, I'm not going to show her face because she asked me not to show her face. Um, but I do, I'm going to stand here where you can hear her. I'm not going to mention her name either. Good morning, Irene. How are you? Um, but I, but I, I do want to um, bring her on right quick and, and just, she's just going to share it with us right quick. Um, I'm going to call you um, Ace. <laughs> I'm going to call her Ace. Her name is Ace, okay? Um, tell me, tell people on Facebook um, what the story is that you have told me and, um, you know, how it's affected your life and how you can reach other women with your story. Okay, in 2009, I was, how do I put this, hemorrhaging. No doctor would find out why until it got worse. Um... I was going through, I would say, two packs of pads in two days. Oh my god. Then I started wearing overnight pads. Then I started wearing almost the Depend undergarments. Oof. Uh, it was bad. And they found out that I had a tumor on my uterus. Oh my goodness. I was hemorrhaging so bad. In 2009, I had surgery. They had to do a hysterectomy, partial hysterectomy. Uh, once they did that the hemorrhaging stopped of course right but um if i'd have known then what i know now and it makes sense i worked in agriculture right everything that the pads the tampons has in it all the pesticides all that yuck right <clears throat> i honestly think I wouldn't have gone through all the pain i'm talking about losing so much blood that they had to do a blood transfusion before surgery during surgery should have took two three hours it took five hours because they had to replenish my blood it was just horrible it was horrible and i think it was because of the stuff i was wearing to protect myself and my clothes right if i'd have worn something like you have available now i honestly think i don't think i would have had that going on my youngest daughter also has a problem with um she has cysts on her, her ovaries, her ovaries. and <clears throat> they rupture. Mm -hmm. So now I'm kind of anxious for her to have her child so she can try this. Right. The last thing I want my girls to do, or even my daughter-in-law, is to go through the pain, mm -hmm. the uncomfortable of wearing basically a diaper just to hold in the mess. Right. Um, if I'd have known tampons would have done that. I would not have put those in me at all, period. Exactly. Seriously, would have just let that waste go to waste. But because society says you need to wear this product yep. and this product alone, and no one told me there was an alternative solution, mm -hmm. I don't think I would have got it to me because I wouldn't have had all that pesticide there. Mm -hmm. um, it was horrible. It was horrible. I did recently try the liners as well. Because I was using the liners, I was using tampons, I was using diapers, basically. Right. That's what I'm going to call them because that's, that's what, what they, they felt were. like. Right. They're so thick and heavy and yuck Ugh. and messy. And that's okay, go ahead. And then um, if I, I tried the liners not too long ago, recently, I found that the panty liners alone, there's no odor. And I tried it because I'm having hot flashes and stuff like that. So you said the ion strip in the, the liners might help me. So I did try those after taking them off for eight hours. And I know nobody's supposed to use them for that long, but you know what? I didn't feel them. 
-hmm. They didn't smell. They were not uncomfortable. They didn't like. I cringe now looking at pads and liners and stuff. I look. Yeah. But I tried it, and I promise you, those things are amazing. Amazing. If they would control my hot flashes faster, I think I'd buy them. <laughs> but right. That's just part of my life now because it kicked me after doing the hysterectomy. It kicked me into menopause earlier than it should. Oh my goodness. Because I'm not 50 years old yet. Right. But it kicked me in earlier because I don't have all the woman functions that I'm supposed to have. Right. Um, and it's just, it's, I like the liners. I really do. I wish I would have had time to do the pads, but. Oh my goodness. It so is what it is. See there, uh, that is just one of the testimonies that, you know, women have gone through in the past years that, you know, women did not know about this awareness that we have nowadays. Um, if, if it was back then, if they knew about it back then, they would have um, changed it. They would have been an example to us women now that are growing up to their children. So, guys, please... You have to you have to listen to what I'm saying. Listen to Asa's story because I promise you, if her story did not hit you where your where your heart is, let me tell you, if you have daughters, if you've gone through the same same thing that she's gone through, I guarantee you that you're gonna say, Man, I wish I would have listened. Mm -hmm. But this is our testimony for today. Um, I will have more later, but um, for now, you guys have a great day, and we'll talk to you all soon. Bye.